guys, for today's video we're going to be doing a relationship Q&A. So I asked you guys on my Instagram what questions you wanted us to answer. So in today's video we're going to be answering the ones that you guys sent in. This is my husband Ben. Um, he's been on my channel a couple times. Once or twice. Once or twice. So he's coming in for this video of course. So I have written down the questions and we're just going to go through and answer them for you guys. Okay, the first question. Where did you meet? We met at Bethel mm -hmm. University in the dining center. She was yeah. having lunch with her brother, who was my roommate, mm -hmm. and yeah, he just introduced me to her. And yeah, I was in. You were touring. Yeah, I was a senior in high school, and so my brother was like, I was eating lunch with him. He was showing me Bethel, and then Ben came up, and my brother was like, "This is my, you know, friend Ben, whatever." And the first thing I thought was he's so tall. That's like all I thought. I was just like, that is the tallest guy. He's like 6'5". He's like an ogre. So I was just like, oh my gosh. But then I pretty much fell in love at that moment just from meeting him. But that is how we met. My brother and him are best friends. They were roommates. So I knew him multiple years before we actually dated. So the next question is the best date we've ever been on favorite date is kind of a tradition that Rach and I do is we go to the the first Timberwolves game of the year mm -hmm. um, and so I always just think it's fun because they kind of do a little bit more than they traditionally do for normal games they do some more introductions different stuff some more theatrics yeah and so it's kind of fun just to go and what was kind of funny is when we first went to a game she kind of didn't she thought she didn't like basketball she said mm -hmm. I'll just go be with you and, and just have a good time that way, but I don't like basketball. Yeah. Like by the second quarter, I look over and she's like, that's I was, a foul. I was she into was it. Into the game. So it's really <laughs> funny because now it's just something that we like to do. It's, mm -hmm. it's been a lot of fun. I will say I'm not a big sports person, but basketball is one sport that I really do enjoy watching. I can actually like follow what's going on. I really like basketball. So that game was so fun. And I actually really enjoy going every single year. I would say my favorite date. I really love doing that. Um, but Ben surprised me. So our like song is In Case You Didn't Know by Brett Young. And he surprised me with Brett Young tickets. And we it was like in Mankato or something. So we drove out to Mankato, went to his concert. Um, we also went to Jesse James Decker because she's like my favorite like singer fashion, Celebrity. everything. And so those two are probably my two favorite dates that we've had. Okay, so the next question is, who said I love you first? I did. This guy did. Yep. <laughs> um, favorite quality about the other person? I have so many. Me, I like that Rach is so caring. Um, she's very, I don't know. She's very caring. caring and that kind of leads <laughs> over in other areas because like, my my love language is is touch and affirmation mm -hmm. and it's, it's funny because it fits rage pretty well and what's funny is like judah smith he's a pastor out in seattle and he had a he's like he has the same kind of things that i do and he goes all you need to do is is touch me tell me you love me and touch me some more <laughs> and it's just kind of funny because rage is she's very affectionate very different things like that and and so she's caring in that way. Mm -hmm. And it's a good fit. Mm -hmm. um, I have a million, but off the top of my head, I would say Ben is the most loyal, trustworthy person ever. Like, never ever do I have to worry about like anything of like, I don't know, I just feel very secure because he's so loyal and trustworthy. And obviously like how much he loves God and things like that but he's also like he's never one of those guys that like acts different around his friends or tries to be less like affectionate he's always just so sweet to me all the time and also he's the most generous person in the entire world like he'll have a super expensive something and if he like doesn't use it that much he'll just be like to my dad here you want this here you go like to everybody so he's just perfect angel I could go on and on but those are a few of my top ones okay what do you do to resolve conflict so Rachel and I are what you call <laughs> rage cleaners 
we'll both get like super frustrated at each other and then in the next hour the house will be spotless because mm -hmm. we'll both be completely silent yeah and we'll just rage clean yeah i feel like we've gotten really good at like picking what's actually worth talking about and what's kind of just like if it's an actual issue that's affecting our relationship or just us um we'll actually talk through it and like hear each other's side if it's like somebody said something that was like if i said something kind of bratty or he did something that kind of rubbed me the wrong way and it's little we will just like not yeah. talk for like 30 <laughs> minutes to an hour if we're annoying each other we know we just both need like yeah. silence yes and rachel put on a depressing song <laughs> and she'll go into a room and close the door and I'll stay in the other room and close and clean just like crazy and yeah. It's a good thing. I mean, it helps us keep our apartment clean. But yeah. <laughs> that's kind of how I'll, how we resolve conflict. It's yeah. Like, just kind of. Yeah, I feel like um, big conflict. I of course we fight. Like everybody fights, but honestly, we don't really fight that much. Like actual issues. Um, we're just so alike and we have all the same values and things so we we really do get along really great But when we do have an actual issue Whether he feels some way or together. We're not feeling right about something Then what we try to do is just be completely honest and talk through it I think something that I see that causes a lot of issues if is if you're just not upfront like I think especially in high school and stuff it can happen where you like just want them to know what's wrong or you just want to act pouty so they pay attention whatever that is i feel like the way to actually resolve conflict and get through it quickly is to literally just say when you said this it made me feel like this and i would really appreciate if you would do this then they know exactly what's wrong exactly why it's wrong and exactly what you want them to do and i feel like that's something that's helped us i think just being honest and also trying to not say things out of anger you know and also knowing when it's not a good time to talk about something like the other day we were going to talk about something and i was like i'm too crabby to talk about this right now and he was like okay so but then she like still that. talked about it listen we all have flaws <laughs> okay <laughs> the next question is relationship advice for people who are not engaged or not married yet a lot of times people feel like they're behind or they're mm -hmm. um, whatever and they're not really allowing themselves to live in the moment and to enjoy life and, and different stuff. They're so focused on things that are down the road or, mm -hmm. or whatever. And I know when we were engaged and dating, we, we had a lot of focus towards mm -hmm. the wedding and, and just getting through that and different yeah. stuff. And it, it kind of brought a little bit of strife because mm -hmm. We had like a year long engagement, which sucked. That was so long. But, Would not recommend. But, so it's like the whole sure, time it's good. We, were, we were focusing on, on the wedding. We weren't really enjoying our engagement. Cause yeah. I mean, our engagement was the most stressful part of our entire relationship. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and so we were always just like hoping for the next thing instead of just mm -hmm. kind of living in the moment. Yeah. And I will say we kind of had a rough like set up for our engagement just because engagement no matter what like you're gonna have really fun times like dress shopping and all that stuff but the things that are involved in wedding planning is emotions and money those are like two things that are so huge emotions from all sorts of people and when you constantly have to focus on how other people might perceive something and saving enough money and how much things cost I feel like it just constantly put us in a state of stress and we were saying like once we weren't in that engagement stage and we were married it felt so much like calmer and like because our whole energy wasn't around how much money is that gonna cost and things like that um so yeah i feel like that caused a lot of like ugh. what's your my advice for people who aren't married yet i think what? It's to hurry up and get married. No, I think I think the important thing is to pay attention to who the person really is and take that time to go through different seasons, to go through arguments, to go through hard times and good times and see how 
you guys mesh together through different seasons and through different experiences. Pay attention to how they treat you now, how they treat your family, how you guys handle money, how you guys handle arguments, because that's all preparation for marriage. And I think even though we do wanna spend time like really enjoying where we're at, having a mindfulness of we are building towards marriage, so kind of getting like learning how to communicate and have healthy ways to handle arguments and things like that. I just think always trying to learn the other person better and learn how to serve them better and be really, really open and communicate a lot because the more honest you are, the more that you are committed to learning them more, you're gonna be so much happier because you're just gonna be so much more in sync and yeah. yeah, I think to go off that too it is to really take this time to learn how to love your significant other effectively. Mm -hmm. um, figure out what their love language is. Figure out different things like that. And make sure that you're catering to them just so that they're able to feel kind of your mm -hmm. how much you care about them and different things like that. Because that goes a long way mm -hmm. um, too just to diffuse if it's a tense situation. Yeah. For them to know that like how much you care about them really helps out. The next question is kind of about like day-to-day -day life. They said who cooks, who cleans, and what are just kind of like your roles in the apartment? Or I cook. I yeah. cook. Um, yeah, Ben definitely is the cook. I like cooking. Mm -hmm. Rachel doesn't like cooking. I'm okay with like sides. I love baking. I don't like raw meat. I get so freaked out by the germs. I, <laughs> I will cook a chicken so overdone for just for her. No matter how done it is, it could be like flaky. It's so done. Crunchy. She'll cut it up and <laughs> stick it in the microwave. I like, just get weird about it's raw, crazy. undercooked. He always cooks it perfect, but I'm just paranoid. So he does the cooking. He helps me with cleaning, but I feel like I do a lot of cleaning. Well, and how it used to be is I used to kind of be the paranoid one. Like, I would, go, like, at her house, mm -hmm. I would clean up her room because I'd walk in and it looked like a bomb just went off. Clothes everywhere. Like, clothes everywhere, just <laughs> absolute chaos. Yeah. And I, I was kind of worried. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting mad. We had some talks about. Uh, yeah, that. I was like, that's uh, whatever. Now we've completely flipped roles mm -hmm. where, like, Rach won't go to bed unless like the whole apartment's clean. Mm -hmm. um, like, if we leave it dirty for while we go to work, like we're both kind of stressed out a little bit about it. Yeah. And and so it's just kind of. It's kind of flipped that role, but I feel she like, does a lot of that. I feel like once I got my like our own place, I just had this new drive to keep it really clean. Other than that, I feel like we both just kind of share responsibilities of like everything yeah. else. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. takes the garbage out. We both make the bed together. I don't know. We like to share, it and then you kind of just fall into the stuff that is like yeah. what you like to do. Last question things we do for a happy marriage we know that we are very new at being married but we can still give you some of the stuff that we do i mean it kind of goes back to just to to knowing your significant other's love language yeah like for rach it's a blessing and a curse that she's kind of got all of them but <laughs> I, I, I think that like one of her main i think her main one is gifts mm -hmm. Like, every time I go to Costco or I go to Target or, or Kowalski's or wherever, like I'll go there and I'll look for something that's just small, like mm -hmm. a pair of socks that are fuzzy or, or just like something tiny, obscure, really cheap, whatever, and I'll, bring, I'll buy it for her and I'll bring it home and like every time she's like in tears that I got her or something. <laughs> Or like Costco's got these really big blankets that are ridiculously nice that are hard yes. to kind of find when you see them at Costco, get them. Mm -hmm. But they're like these really fuzzy blankets and I, I got them for her. I have it. And like there's some of her favorite things and it's just funny because like it could cost 10 bucks or something ah. like that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it's just like something she absolutely loves that, Eesh. I mean, is it just makes her day. It's a big really flop. Happy. So, just like buying her little things like that, and it, 
I could literally get her a Snickers bar. Yeah, anything. And come home and she'd like be in tears about it. So just like doing stuff like that, going out of your way. Yeah. And, and kind of doing that. And I think also, this is something I'm still learning and I will learn forever. It's not natural to be selfless. Um, we are just like selfish people. So once you get married, um, I think having as much as you can a heart to serve the other person. So like if he got a bunch of clothes dirty from work and like working out and things like that, instead of me being like, ugh, there's dirty clothes, just washing them, folding them, putting them away, um, cause now he doesn't have to do it. And like that takes, you know, practice and work and you're not always gonna wanna do stuff like that. But I think we learned in church just like always trying to outserve the other person because then you're both getting really well taken care of and you just feel so loved. Um, yeah. So I think it's not easy always, but I think also looking at it below just like a task and think about who are you doing this for, think about how much they do for you, how much you love them, and it makes you want to do stuff for them more. So I'd say that and then also just being like goofy best friends is what makes our marriage so fun is because we're best friends and we can just like have fun so i think like there's those deep things but also just like skunk around and have fun time <laughs> even if there's just something small too around like rachel loves watching gilmore girls mm -hmm. i don't get it I, I don't like the show, but I, I let her watch it on Netflix because it makes her happy and, and different things like that. So just like making those small little concessions goes a long way just to yeah. kind of let them know that like they can do, like they can live their own life too and still enjoy the things that they love. Yeah. And that, that's not going to change just because we're married or we're in a relationship. And by like, lets me watch it, he's talking like every morning before work, every single night before bed, like always. And I do think like just doing little things like that really helps. Like it just makes you feel like they really care and they really want you to be happy too. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.